A vote to make the High Dominion permanent custodian of the galaxy is in the works, and the Grey Tempest is slowly being cleared from the Terminal Egress at the same time. Hello Legion, this is Hadrian, thank you for being here. Let's play some more Stellaris Galactic Paragons in our High Dominion 2 series. So we are able to, I think, hang on. Yeah, that's already been queued up. Yeah, we have construction ships that are automatically building some things for us, which is nice, I suppose. We're waiting on some reinforcements for our fleets. Meanwhile, the Citadel upgrade is done here. So let's see what we can get away with. Yeah, Black Hole Observatory already built. And it, yeah, we've already got everything that we could possibly want at Terminal Egress as far as keeping that station nice and powerful. So, just need to make sure we're ready reinforcement-wise. It looks like we are down a few battleships, but we didn't lose any Titans. Shocking, I know. And now it's just a matter of continuing to clear things out. I want to manage this carefully because part of what I believe, part of what is enabling me to win these votes so handily, which I have 87 days before I can call this to the floor immediately, Wait. Oh, nice. It's actually on the floor. I, I, it, I didn't have to call it. I thought I was going to have to call it, but I won't have to. So, yay. One of the reasons that that is going so well and that people seem to be in favor of it, I believe, is that we have this Grey Tempest threat ongoing at the moment, and we are dealing with it. And because we are dealing with it, they like the fact that we're dealing with it. So we want to make sure that we continue to deal with it and that we're still dealing with it by the time this vote comes to a conclusion. Need I say more? We're just going to, you know, slightly manipulate that outcome as best we can. We don't have any additional envoys at the moment, but... Construction complete. That is fine. The economy has stabilized largely. And I think, hang on, let's let's take a look at this. Yeah, we're waiting on a few more battleships, and they are on the way. Oh wow, a Turian leveled up. So we could have armies build faster and be cheaper. We could have more planetary defense armies and a reduction to bombardment damage done to us. Or we can have additional loyalty from subjects. Let's go ahead and do Home Guard 2. Let's, let's make ourselves, like, we got attacked so much in the beginning of the series. I think that makes a lot of sense, narratively, for the High Dominion to go with. You know what I mean? Like, there was so much chaos right at the outset. They would want to have stronger defenses in that way. All right, let's go ahead and build a mining district here. So right after I said the economy is looking decent, it starts to show a few cracks. But this is the kind of chaos that's to be expected when you have so many new systems developing at once. Council election imminent. Yep. We're the custodians, so we're automatically on the council. Get wrecked. Ooh. Yeah, on this planet, I'm going to go ahead and build another generator district because it's not really a mining specialized world. And I think I do want to go ahead and send... Which fleet was it that I left? It was the... Oh. Oh. Apparently I hadn't queued up reinforcements completely. I thought I had. Just hadn't quite built up the alloys. All right, well... I kind of still want to go attack the Tempest Shoals in Eurelion. There's only one in Wegmore. There's two in Stero. So, yeah, let's go ahead and take this one in Wegmore out. We're just going to basically travel to the middle of the system. I'll send my three fleets. One of them is not fully reinforced. It's fine. We're going up against fewer ships, so it should hopefully be less of an issue. Oh, wait, hang on. Let me turn around because I see a battleship that is just now arriving. All right, so that should merge automatically, and it did. Perfect. Definitely still seeing a lot of people trying to come in, which is freaking funny. So many attempts at accessing... Yeah, we can go ahead and move there. It's fine. At accessing the terminal egress. 
no one's actually getting in because I'm detecting all of them as they arrive. Alright, so new construction ship has arrived to automatically build that energy mine. And the jump is being made. Attacking enemy vessels. Just one Tempest Shoal here. This should die a lot faster. And at fewer casualties. Nice. Now, there's just one in Ophiel as well, which tempts me to go ahead and take it out. I don't want to get greedy, you know. Let's go ahead and reinforce. Let's go ahead and give the order for them to attack. And then I will have them immediately withdraw as soon as combat is done. We'll withdraw through Wegmore and be good from there. I want you to come build this starbase, please. Idle leaders. Who's this? Yeah, Kai Sha is an idle leader. I'm aware of that, but I don't have an army. I I'm not in a fight right now that involves invading planets. Okay, game? Sorry. The gun pointed at the head of the universe. Leading scientists across all conceivable fields have at last finalized their proposals for the planet killer class weapon that will arm our first Colossus type ship's world cracker. Obviously. Obviously. Attacking enemy vessels. Alright, so here we are. Let's go ahead and take out this guy. Alright. Done. No debris, unfortunately. All right, so now I will definitely withdraw. It looks like we took some more substantial losses, and I would prefer to keep it simple. Construction complete. All right. Looking good. That starbase is being built. Yeah, you're on automatic construction right now, but there's nothing really for you to do, is there? So you're just waiting. Looks like we have some upgrades. We still don't have any room to build additional starbases, but we have started to see the end game technology complete. for starbase capacity begin to pop up. So, yeah, so those are going to get built automatically. Why don't you go ahead and build the station in Ophiel as well? So, since we've seen that, we will start to be able to collect a lot of the trade value. <laughs> I've had a few comments pointing out that there's a lot of uncollected trade value, and I'm like, okay, collect it with what? Oh, hey, our Starbase capacity just went up. How about that for a coincidence? All right, well, let's go ahead and collect some more of this. Wow. Wow, there's a lot here. So a station in Rankshin is probably going to be the best idea. Let's go ahead and give that order. And we will have a lot more trade value to collect. And also, we can just help protect the area to the best of our ability. It looks like these ships are already back. That's nice. Now, is there already a hyper relay here? Yes, there is. I would know that if I would just... Well, no, it doesn't show the icon unless it's a different... It still bugs me that the hyper relays use the L-gate icon, but it does seem like maybe that's not the case anymore. Hang on, let's take a look. Yeah, it looks like they did remove it, actually. Good. As well they should. Because it was confusing. But there's not a way for me to visually check anymore, which is sad. They do still use the L-gate icon, they just don't display it on the map and make you think that there's an L-gate in the system. Which is understandably somewhat frustrating. You've got so much information to process in a game like Stellaris, you don't want anything to get confusing. Especially if it hasn't been confusing in the past. Spyro Nation has completed construction of a gateway. Very nice. Alright, I think these fleets are already at full strength. We're just waiting on reinforcements. Leader level up. Nice. Admiral. Even better. Yeah, Adaptionist too. Let's go ahead and increase her experience gain because she, as a leader is one of my most promising. We've just brought her up, and she's young. She has high experience gain, and if we have a lot of fights, you know, because we're about to try and declare the Galactic Empire, then, um... You're not... <laughs> so, we're, because we're custodians... 
<laughs> because we're the custodians. We can say that we want to end the session immediately to remove the custodianship term limit. Yes. We are now permanent custodian. <laughs> I love this game. All right, so now that that's done, somebody pointed something out. Um, I, and my, my response to this comment was literally, oh shit, in all caps, because I had just forgotten. Um, remember when we lost Sindar Prime? You remember what else was on Sindar Prime apart from a bunch of Sundrians and the entire history of our species? The Galactic Market Hub. <laughs> so I've been wondering when I look at the resolutions that are available to me, why the Galactic Market keeps popping up. Like, form the Galactic Market. Like, why is that there? Oh, wait. <laughs> so that's freaking funny. All right, custodian reforms. Let's see what we can do here. So we can reduce monthly energy credits and increase... Yeah, we can present a united front. We could reduce trade value and increase naval capacity by 150 for everyone. We could also start some galactic institutions. So we could start the Galactic Defense Force. We could also... Oh my god. There's already intermediate support for proclaiming the Galactic Imperium. I did not see that coming. All right, hang on. Um, we can definitely, definitely, definitely. Do we want to go ahead and change the council size to two? Do we want to go ahead and start consolidating power in that way? Let's propose it. And let's bring it to emergency measure. And see what happens. <laughs> so at Stellar Industries has declared us a rival. Shocking. Absolutely shocking. Never could have seen that coming ever. All right, Togbash Vogue is ready for a new district. Why don't we go ahead and build a mining district here? Lots of additional rivals or rivalries being declared. So far, everyone seems in favor of this new idea of mine, which is freaking funny. All right, so we've got a couple of, a couple of Tempest Shoals down in Eurelian. We've got two in Sterope. Two. And of course, we have a bunch in Egoweek. So that's going to take... That final fight is going to be obnoxious. And I'm not going to enjoy it. But we can at least have a lot of this territory kind of locked down. Oh good, our orbital rings are done. I didn't realize they were already done. That's nice. Also, hang on. We need to take a look at our new capital. Are you able to upgrade yet? No, you're not, because you still only have nine pops. Hmm. <laughs> well, we'll be able to do that soon enough. Then we can finally rebuild the vault. I'm the reason I'm going ha 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 and muttering under my breath is that I really don't know. We've we've been without the vault now for a long time, and I selected that really hoping to experiment with it and learn from it. And that is not currently a possibility. All right, looks like these ships are fully ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and give the order just to minimize damage. And since it's since I'm feeling a little bit better about attacks coming from different directions, I'm going to send all four fleets to hit these Tempest Shoals because we do actually have two Tempest Shoals present here. Construction so they're going to travel together. Construction complete. Attacking enemy vessels. And 
hopefully they don't send another one to interfere. But if they do, I, I feel like I'll probably be ready for it. Spaceborn life form encountered. Good. One is dead. All right. So now that's been cleared completely. Let's go ahead and claim Sterope. And I will return to Terminal Egress with all of those ships. We will rebuild. That's everyone. Perfect. All right. We didn't lose too many ships. That worked out. Low stability. Still. Still on this planet. We could terraform it. And that would solve the problem, quote unquote. Yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and just make this an alpine world. Which reminds me. I think one of the things that I, I, I don't know if I'm going to do this right now, but I do have habitability modification now as a technology. And so what I would like to do is make sure that everyone is kind of built for alpine environments. We have one member of our empire uh, species list in general that is not really a good fit. And if we can fix that economically, that will really help. And just in terms of species happiness and contentment. All right, so this science ship doesn't seem like it's doing anything anymore. Why don't you... Are there... I don't think there are any... In... I don't think there are any anomalies left. I could always check. Nice, Colossus Project is researching. No, there are no anomalies left. Nice. All right, well, that science ship... Why don't you just explore? Just explore. Just go find things. And you can investigate anomalies as you find them, but right now we don't have any, so just go exploring. And I think I want to do the same with this science ship. So we're going to set you to auto-explore. Because we've already been everywhere, so we don't actually need them to explore anymore. So, yeah, investigate anomalies as you find them. Totally fine. Get to it. And hopefully they don't get detected. Oh, Kapara has an opportunity here. Industrial district is probably for the best. Special project complete. Colossus project is done, so now we can build. We might still have to research the Colossus. It's been a while since I've built a Colossus, actually, so I believe we still have to research it. Star system the last several Stellaris games that I played genuinely, um, both on the channel and off, I just haven't. I, I've happened. I've happened not to build any world crackers. All right, so now we are going to be able to launch new colonies even faster for ten years. So that's coming at a pretty good time. We just need to lock up the. We just need to lock up this cluster as soon as possible and be done with it. I'm starting to think that it might be time. It may be time to build another fleet, maybe. Also, I just remembered I have a new fleet that I, I think I need to give patrol orders to. I think I've given them patrol orders, but I need to double check that. So we could expand the council even farther and have another counselor slot, which could be interesting. You know what? Yeah, let's do it. This is our first series in the Galactic Paragons expansion, so it makes a lot of sense to go straight for that kind of a bonus. Okay, I might be able to do something here if I buy... Yep, there we go. Volatile Motes, I actually have some extra, so that's good. We have an amenities issue, issue here, so let's get a city district going so we can build a little bit more, plus that will help in and of itself with amenities. Still struggling a little bit economically. Construction. There's just so much growth happening all at once, it's understandable. All right, so 
the next that I want to annihilate. I think I want to wait for a few more ships here. What's this? All right, science nexus tech is done. Very good. Yeah, let's go ahead and study the... Mm, I like both of these. Let's study the advanced reactor booster, though, because a lot of my ships already use the reactor booster, so that's an Space upgrade that I can actually use. Encountered. That's a choice that I can actually defend. Star system charted. I thought you already declared me a rival. Or wait, am I thinking of... Do we have two... Is it the Sagittarians that declared me rival the first time? It is. No, it's not. Let's establish an embassy with the Sagittarian Alliance. Propose secret fealty. No. Was it Zaplo? No. It wasn't the Helvens. It wasn't the Spirens. Oh, that's so weird. I, I could have sworn they'd just got in contact about that. Or they just Baseball rivaled me earlier. Encountered. This episode. Yeah, I'll have to go back and see what happened there. Might have been that we lost the rivalry and I didn't see those notifications. Alright, so the Sagittarian Alliance has granted the construction of an embassy. Saren and Awakened Psionic Abilities. Uh, okay, so that's annoying. Because that was going to be one of our advantages over them. And now we don't have it. Unfortunately. So, if we declare the Galactic Empire at this point, uh, basically we're going to have to go to war with them. Because they're probably not going to want to want to jump on board. That would be my guess. The vote to reduce the council size seems to be going pretty well, though. Because, I mean, it's not surprising. The Sagittarians are the only ones who are voting against it. No, we want to be on the council. Leave us alone. Why would you take this away from us? I can't end the session yet prematurely. I can't use my custodian powers. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead. How are we doing? What is going on with... We have a, a ship with, like, half armor. Wait. The Dar Torbanus and Dar Ladiris. Did I build something wrong? Yeah. That's what it is. It's a group of, uh... I actually have no armor on one of my destroyers. That was quite by accident. That's fine. We can upgrade it real quick. Probably been helpful in some ways, honestly. It is actually increasing the power of my fleets. Vessels upgraded. And there we go. We're fine. Yeah, I just I thought like for some reason they might have still needed some repairs, but no, that's not the case. Black artillery. That might be helpful. Also advanced strike craft. Or Devastator Torpedoes. Torpedoes have been particularly useful. So it might be a good idea to go ahead and research those. But I'm not going to wait for this next attack. We'll go ahead and... Well, no. Let's, let's not send them immediately into the system. We're going to go here, and here, here, and here. All four. Hopefully I don't regret this decision immensely. We're going to bring this construction ship over to Brius. Mining stations are being built. Oh, also, hang on. You need to build some trade hubs. 
and an off-world trading company. And then we'll have a star hold. And then we can add a few more. And a lot of that trade value in that area will finally be collected. Construction complete. Serpta, what do you need? This is an industrial world, and I kind of just want to keep building industrial districts here. Seems like the best idea. Let's do that. New Sindar can finally upgrade. Holy crap. Yay. All right, so it's finally going to feel like a capital world. We've been doing what we can to build up that particular planet, but you know what? Hang on. Let's distribute luxury goods again. Make them as happy as possible, because that keeps wearing off. Escog. Yeah. Mining district there. Can't do much else. Alright, so the fleets are getting in position. It's nice to see that 60k. I just don't want to be gone long. Star system charted. Okay, we've arrived. I'm a little bit worried they're going to split their attention between the two fleets. Yep, that's exactly what they're doing. Like, no. Construction complete. Okay, good. They're mostly concentrating on one first. No, don't, don't, don't leave the, don't, guys, listen, listen. You've got to kill those as fast Star as possible. System charted. I wish there was a way to convey that to the fleets. And just make it very clear, like, I want you to prioritize these ships. Period. Okay, now we don't have a ton of alloys, unfortunately. But it looks like that was mostly helpful. Let's select a science ship just to see. Also, I do need to finish upgrading my orbital rings. Okay, no debris. We do, however, have some nanites here, which that's going to be quite handy. All right, not going to be able to build the starbase just yet. That's fine. Made a lot of progress against them this particular episode, and we've also made a lot of progress economically. All right, so let's take a look at these ring worlds. So we've built one around the Afuri Mandate. I'm trying to remember exactly what I need to click. There we go. Oh yeah, we don't have any alloys. All right, I'll come back to those in a moment. I'm gonna go ahead and bring these back to the Terminal Egress. And then in about five days, we should be able to build that starbase. There we go. Let's get that done. Cannot wait to have control of this cluster. We're going to have so many new planets. Holy crap. All right. So any special resources here? None whatsoever. Wait. Oh, I've already built the gene clinic. Duh. All right. Otterton Monument then. That's all I need. Ferris Mandate. We don't have any special resources here. Yeah, I guess I'll just upgrade that. Not really a good choice. All right, the Poserano Mandate. Okay. Yeah, research, clearly. Wegri, you don't have any special resources either, but I can still manufacture some the old-fashioned way. Synthetic crystal plants, nice. Rausenvola. Yeah, let's do a mining district here as well. Advanced Reactor Booster is done. Let's 
Tachyon Lance might be time for that. I need to reconfigure my battleships in order to really use it. Because I think we have the first level of that unlocked. So, hang on. Let's take a quick look at that, shall we? Aw, oh, yeah. Spinal Mount Bow. So... I can go ahead and build a third type of battleship, which is kind of what I want to do. Rather than modify the existing ones, let's have a spinal mount with an artillery core and an artillery stern. Particle lance, and then we'll have kinetic artillery. Excuse you. Yeah, thank you. Let's actually place that there. And a couple of gamma lasers to round it out. And we are still fighting our good friends. So let's make sure we keep that in mind. Alright, so we want to have artillery. Maximum possible. Perfect. Alright, so this is going to be the... Ooh, I like it. Darmisaris. And now, we go to the Fleet Manager. And I don't think I'm going to be able to add that many of these. I can probably add one to each, if I'm lucky. Can't even add one to this fleet, unfortunately. Also, what's going on with the Corvette count there? That's weird. It shouldn't have been that way. All right. Not going to be able to add one here. We're going to need to increase command limit before we can really do this. Okay, let me also... Let's head down here and take a look at the other ships. Okay, good. So they're all patrolling already. I've already engaged that. And they're all cloaked. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. It's working as intended. All right, well, we are... I think approaching a good endpoint for the episode, but let me see if there's anything else I can do. I do have a few more alloys now, so maybe I can at least do something with the Afuri Mandate. Uh, not the Afuri Mandate specifically, but its orbital ring. So let's do a habitation module first. Followed by planetary defense batteries and defense hangars. Ooh, so many options. So many good options. Defense grid supercomputer is so tempting. How are we doing on... Hang on. Yeah, th there is actually a lot of mining potential on this planet. So, I realize it's not going to give me the biggest bonus. Ooh, there's also alloy processing that I could do. But yeah, we're going to do low-gravity mega refiners. Just to increase mineral income a little bit from that. And actually, hang on. I think I have a... Yep, new Sindar is able to do some new stuff. So, vaults of knowledge. Thank God. Now I can end the episode. God, it's so good to have that back. I'm just, I'm hoping I didn't lose out on a lot by not having it in place. I'm really concerned about that, to be completely honest. It's freaking me out a little bit. All right, let's get these upgraded. I think a lot of platforms use the... Reactor boosters. All right, so... Empire size from districts, building upkeep, district upkeep. Or we could give you a new ability. I don't know. I, I kind of feel like... Yeah, let's just upgrade Urbanist. Let's make you better at something that you already do. And also, let's go ahead and upgrade... Not sure which upgrades are going through here. But they are definitely adding to the power of the fleet. So I cannot complain. Yeah, until we actually upgrade 
the command limit, we won't be able to add more battleships. So those will definitely help in our fight against the Tempest. What's this? All right, Rare Crystals is still at zero. Thankfully, we're not actually losing any. We're probably losing like... Yeah. Vessels upgraded. We're losing less than half of one Star each month. System okay. We're at the 35-minute mark. I'm going to go ahead and stop this episode here. No, you don't need to upgrade at the Demon's Maw Station. Just wait. Wait your turn. It's fine. I do want you to go ahead and reinforce. Yeah. This fleet is going to be able to Vessels include upgraded. a new battleship, and that's going to be nice. Now you can upgrade. Perfect. Stop. <laughs> okay, we'll stop this one here. In the next one, we are probably going to finish off the Great Tempest because um, our political machinations are going stupidly well. And, uh, wow, look at the number of... Uh... Oh, yeah, you can see the modifier. That's a really nice... Just, I think that's always been there, been there for a while, but because the Oracle is such an impressive governor, like, you really notice the difference. So, like, you really notice the icon because 10 stands out more than the, the lower level icons. But yeah, we, I think it's going to be an interesting end to the series, and it's not like we're ending anytime soon, but we're moving into an era where it's going to be highly political. We're going to get to explore the leader system even more. We might even have one of the paragons show up, which hasn't happened yet. We've had rare leaders, but we haven't had any of the, like, legendary ones show up just yet. So that could be fascinating. But there's a lot right around the corner now that we have finally kind of dealt with the Great Tempest. It was a frustrating beginning, and I wasn't sure how it was going to go. Uh, and it just came on the heels of having so much conflict. But I'm really looking forward to bringing the fight to the Coalition of Drell War and then uh, potentially trying to declare the Galactic Imperium and seeing what kind of chaos develops from that. You know, that's going to be fun. I mean, we're already red. So, I mean, we're, we're like, we're 90% of the way there. We just need to pretty much assume the mantle and we'll be good to go. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. If it's not your first time or even your second, look for the join button to access unique emotes, badges, and other perks. New episodes are coming out every day but Thursday at 3 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time. And comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you next time.